What do you think? He's glasses on, glasses off. Glasses on means like you at home. I'm at home. I think you, yeah, it doesn't really matter. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nomad and King channel. I'm James Showers, of course. Cleanest name in the biz, if you did not already know that. We're doing a video today, if you didn't know that. And uh, I took a poll. Well, I put out a questionnaire on the channel. Uh, keep asking for people keep asking for updates on the uh, residential drywall crew that I had. So um, I put a poll out and said, "Hey, if I did one of these, who do you want me to do an update on?" I'm gonna put the little poll on the screen. This is when I took the snapshot of it earlier. Smiley and Squanch are the two that people really want to see, but a lot of people all voted for all of the above which I'm guessing they want to know what's going on with Smiley and Squanch. So, I'm going to start with the ones. We're going to start with four and work our way to one, okay? Um, we do have a few some news about the Squanchy, and um, I'm going to let you guys know uh, at some point in this video, so you're going to have to watch it to figure it out, right? So, listen, we'll, get, we'll run through these real quick. But first, for one, i got to put on my... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta make sure they're clean. So, took my eyeballs out and I got this crazy light blinding me right now. So, so I can see you guys. Looking good. See you guys seeing me. Here we go. So, update on Jesse. From the last time I heard, he's uh, scrapping out drywall where, uh, where I hooked him up with a little job there and he's doing pretty good. Um, eventually, he'll probably end up back out in Portland. Um, I do know his brother, and uh, it seems like he's doing all right. That's that's kind of my whole update on him. Uh, Sam, for the most part, he you know he's doing good. He's gotten a job as a uh, floor installer. I, th I think he's doing like I'm, I'm assuming like wood floors or maybe just flooring. I don't know. I don't have too much information on him to be honest. Um, I did talk to Smiley recently when I was in. Uh, Idaho and Coeur d'Alene, we were going to meet up and have lunch and chit chat and uh, I did want to see if I can get him on video um, just to say hi to you guys and kind of go over a few things. It, it didn't work out, but for the most part, Smiley's doing good. He's got himself a girlfriend. They seem pretty happy. He's got a job uh, at a cabinet shop right now putting cabinets together. You know, and to all the guys that work for me, you know, if, if they want to do something out here where I'm at, I mean, they already know they've got an opportunity to come out here. So all of them know that that's available if they want to do something different. But where they're at right now in life, they're doing pretty good. They didn't have a huge hiccup from the time when I decided to close up shop out there and, and, and not progress forward with them staying in, in charge. It just It just wasn't going to work out for me. But that uh you know that didn't hold them back too too much they um figured something out they're moving forward they're doing good and uh when we're talking about squanch which most people want to hear about squanch i'm guessing you know, i put him in charge of just kind of doing some walkthroughs um and then i just would edit kind of whatever he was got going on you know his character definitely came out a lot in the show and he really enjoyed being a part of the show and um seeing comments from you i knew it, it excited them to you know put a new video out who was saying what and he'd always be watching along and commenting along and and uh you know he had a good time aj's been there since the beginning when i came back up here and i got him out of a situation that he was already in and uh he did really well um coming back to work with me doing some drywall going to the gym with me working out um pushing his life forward in, in a positive direction uh, one that didn't involve drugs, and um, um, he uh, he was doing really well, you know, and uh, he ended up falling off track, as most of you guys know. That didn't really work out too well for him. I was hoping that maybe he was in Idaho working or doing something, you know, to at least just turn his life around, but uh, the reality is uh, he, he did get arrested, and I talked to him um, before he went. I'm assuming he went 
to his court um, and he was looking for work. He, I think he just, you know, wanted some cash. I don't know what his ideas were, but um, he is in jail right now. And uh, he's got two different sentences sitting over his head. And, uh, you know, we can maybe discuss that in a whole other video. Uh, I'm only bringing this up because uh, I think that um, I think I'd like to do a video um, where I can see whether or not you guys want to do uh, um, like mailing him some letters while he's out there. He's going to be in there. He's not even uh, available for parole until um, 2021 and he could serve all the way up to 2024. So he does, I don't think he has got any kind of money. He doesn't have anybody to chat with. And he's kind of just stuck in, uh, you know, jail for two to four years or something. So uh, I'm going to reach out to him. I do know where he's at. I found him. And I got his uh, inmate number and all the info and stuff. But I um, just wanted to mention it here. If, if anyone's actually interested in maybe sending him a letter or... You know, giving him a little bit of money so he can make, a, so he can buy some commissary, you know what I mean? Have a few perks out there and um, let me find out whether or not we're able to just send him emails or if we have to send him snail mail, you know. Uh, but if you guys are interested, I'll do another video where I give a little bit more information about his situation so that, um, you know, it's not all just going out here to random people finding this video, but... If you're interested in what the squanch has got going on, uh, you know, you want to wish him the best and maybe give him some encouragement. And, uh, you know, maybe even like work to a point where when he's available for parole, he's got something to actually be paroled on. You know, uh, I could always get him a position out here. He's, you know, definitely a hard worker. He needs to, when he comes out of jail, he needs to go to a spot where he doesn't uh, come back in with the same guys, you know. And uh, he needs to just really start his life over fresh and something new. And I think um, getting some letters and whatnot from fans, friends, uh, whatever you want to call yourself, you know, people that ask about him all the time and, and uh, you know, hope he's doing good. Um, you know, maybe letters from people like you um, would make him feel like he needed to do more or be a part of uh, this channel or start his own channel or something or, you know, um, who knows. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that, if you guys would even be interested in helping the Squanch out. That's basically this whole video. Everybody's doing pretty good. You know, we can go through the list of all the different people that have worked for me or not worked for me. Uh, Cameraman Steve is somebody that definitely would have stood out to be on a list of people but um S steve kind of blew his chances a few different times and uh always wished the best for steve was hoping like something good would come about there was a couple moments when i really saw something in him and then uh um you know that little light just fades too often so i'm not really interested in discussing too much too much more of uh the people that were for me um the last set of people that were on the crew i feel like were the most important uh, sam even though he did leave and then and then he did come back uh he was with me um before i started that newest crew um he's been there for a while he just got to the point where um he's in between that stage of being a worker and a journeyman so, uh, that's basically it. I know a lot of you guys have been there before, too. I wish the Sam best. I hope he's, you know, progressing. And if, you know, flooring doesn't work out, if he does get back into the drywall or something, he's able to run his own deal. But uh, where they were when I left them, it, uh, it just wasn't going to work at that time. Uh, I needed somebody like maybe AJ back on the team or something that um, could really push. But... Yeah, that's basically it. Not everybody worked the greatest together, so me jumping out of that situation kind of ruined the dynamics of the overall team. So uh, that was a slight pity, and uh, I wish it would have been, wish it would have gone a little bit better. But uh, that is at least fifty percent my fault that it 
that it did not succeed. So, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you loved about that series. Um, which guy you love the most. And put some love down there too, just in case they end up watching this video. Because uh, all those guys are really good guys. And, uh, yeah, that's basically, basically it. Uh, not to say that this will never be something that happens on the No Mana King channel, that we don't go back into some sort of work vlog or, or something, or I have a crew. But right now, this time in my life, I'm running this job. I'm working my way into being a foreman for the union, or for this company that I work for, that is a company that is a union contractor. And uh, I'm in a really good position right now, and I'm doing good, and I have a lot of goals that are set. So um, once I meet a few of those goals and some other things change, you know, I can't give specifics, but there could be a time, a day, a place when work vlogs happen on this channel. But right now, they're probably going to be on hiatus for a minute. I do have one more saved and uh i'm not gonna lie i might make one more before i leave this job just to give a wrap up because i just i just can't <laughs> i just can't let it go the way it is it's it you know but those two videos wouldn't even be able to be released months from now so i'm thinking about you guys and when i can i will and i'll and i'll do or something i tried to make that cool but it didn't work out if I could bring you a work vlog, I'd bring you a work vlog. Uh, that's it. I love making them. Hope you guys stick around for the channel. It's evolving. It's doing something. We got plans. Things are happening. All that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. See you on the next video. Peace.